What is up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Alexis. I'm Christian. Today we are going to be doing a little Stranger Things 2 review for you guys. We got through it in less than a week. I want to say like five days maybe? I don't know. We are major binge watchers when one of our shows comes back if it's on Netflix or something. We just get super addicted. And it's one of our favorite shows that we've come across, so we definitely were yeah. <laughs> into it pretty yeah. heavy. We had a lot of late nights for the past week, but it was definitely worth it. Yeah, so today we're just going to be doing a little review for you guys. We wanted to go through our favorite things about season two without any spoilers, just things to look out for and our thoughts on the season. So we first started watching season two. The first episode we watched, to be quite honest, didn't really grab our attention. You were really confused. Yeah, you were I like, was, what's going on? No, actually, yeah, we watched the, recap, watched the recap, but he was still pretty confused. And I think like anytime you haven't seen a show in a while, even when you watch the recap, it can be confusing. But I will definitely say that the first few episodes were like the season itself just started out slow. The first few episodes were kind of like, and we had actually asked one of his friends who already finished it before us, like, does it get better? Is it as good as the first? Because we were skeptical about we were it. very skeptical at first and you know, you don't want to waste your time, but we continued and we stayed strong and it gets so much better. So don't be discouraged by the first it's, few episodes. Yeah. Like It gets pretty crazy, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, it is worth it. So keep watching, it will get better. So the next thing we want to talk about, there were a lot of new characters that were introduced this season. The main ones being Max and Billy, who are brother and sister, sister and brother duo. Well, step siblings. Anyways, step -siblings. Max is the same age as all the boys, so she kind of ends up making her way into that little crew. Little friends. We're not gonna give anything away, but yeah, she's their age. Her stepbrother Billy, uh, Billy is, is the same age as Steve Harrington. Yeah, so he's kind of in the Nancy Steve crowd. And also Bob, you can't forget about him. The so Bob is also a new character oh who's super Slip. cool. You can't, Bob. you can't give anything away though. Okay. So Bob's really cool. Um, keep your eyes open for them. I at first was a little like confused why they were even introducing so many new characters. characters. And there are other ones too. Those are just the ones we decided to talk about. Also, I don't know who's shown, so I don't want to give anything away, but I was confused why they were showing so many new characters because I just think that the cast is already so incredible. Like they've won an Emmy for that. They're so great at the roles they play and everything. So I was like, okay, why do they need new characters? But I will say that the new characters, the new actors did an amazing job and they didn't take away from the characters that we already yeah. love so much. Like if anything, they only made- Spiced it up. Yeah, yeah they spiced it up really a little. Not that they needed spicing up, but yeah, it was cool, so. Yeah, it was a good little extra twist to it. Like yeah. Some good new faces in the crowd. Exactly, and... so keep your eyes open for them. Also, speaking of all the characters that got introduced, one of them who was already in the show, obviously, but wasn't necessarily a huge part of season one is Will because obviously he was in the upside down. So I would say like, he's a huge part, but he doesn't, have a his huge, role yeah. doesn't like he doesn't do much. Yeah, he he's pretty like, much just like laying like, around, like, like struggling. About to die. Exactly. Yeah, like, stuck in the hardships of the, of, like, of yeah. the season. But I would say worse. like in season two we see a lot yeah. more of him. But in season cool. two, when we saw he was saved yeah, at the end of exactly. season so, one. Like, so like season two, he's there. So season two, he's really like probably the top character. He's always been the center of the storyline, yeah. but now that he's back home, I think. He has a much bigger role, so it's cool. Yeah. Like that was a cool thing, so definitely um, pay attention to that. Yeah. So another thing about season two is the plot is kind of all over the place. Like it kind of made me wonder why they decided to include so many different storylines into such few episodes because at times they're just kind of confused. To me, at least, it just kind of seemed like Rush. a bunch of stuff thrown in there, and we were like, okay, yeah, that's interesting, but then it just ends, and then you're like onto a completely new thing. So. I'm not complaining about it. I think the season was still phenomenal, but it was a little weird. It was a lot of different things and it was a little hard to keep up yeah, with. Yeah, it is what it is. It was a great show regardless. So just know that that's coming, but like, it's fine. Uh, you we pick got it up over eventually. It. Yeah, yeah it's just it a little weird, but whatever. And fair warning, this is a much scarier season than season one. Yeah. 
Um, there just, were so many times yeah. where I was like, like I'm the kind of person who if something she's scary like, is coming, like I'm like, covering my eyes <laughs> or yeah, like grabbing onto like, him really hard. His arm probably had marks on it at well, some point. Well, excitement never hurt. That definitely happened to us a lot. A lot more in season two than it did in yeah, season two. We're not going to give it away, but just be prepared. Oh no, we're not giving anything away, but yeah, it is. It is a lot scarier. Yeah. That was a good one, babe. So yeah, it's a lot scarier. Brace yourselves, but still so good and you can take it. It's worth it. So going back to our first point, even though the season did start off slow, it was definitely worth it to keep going. And I would say it's still just as much of a must watch as the first season was. Even though there are some new weird added factors, it never took that feeling that the original like first season of Stranger Things gave me at least. Right. I think the same thing Likewise, for you. Yeah. I mean, I think you can probably tell by how quickly we finished it yeah. that we really loved it, but yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say it reigned supreme over the first season though. They're both very solid, consistent shows. Honestly, I don't know if I can decide which one's better. I think they were both yeah, equally as easy. good. Like they were so great and I don't know. There's definitely their own can ways you? too. And, like, we'll Do you own. have a preference? I don't actually. Yeah, don't definitely know. different <laughs> in their own ways, but on like I, don't have I loved too. both. If, I don't know if you guys have a preference, um, if you loved the first season or if you thought the second season was even better, let us know in the comments down below. And then anyone who agrees can like the comment, you know, if disagrees can disagree. Or can <laughs> like our video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We apologize if it wasn't very detailed, but as we said in the title, it's spoiler free. We didn't want to give anything away, so that's why. Yeah. We hope you're hyped to watch the Stranger Things season two. Yes, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say to us, let us know in the comments down below. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. That is all from us, so we will see you next time. Peace.